All right, as you can see, we're in our final minute of cooking. Um, so at this point, we're just going to kind of wait for it to signal that it's done. And then we are going to um, quick release this. So with that, um, we'll show you that. Pasta tends to spit quite a bit when you um, instant release it. So a lot of times you release and um, turn your vent off and release and turn your vent off so you don't spew pasta water all over the kitchen. I kind of feel like we're back to um, jelly making days. Okay, so it's beeping that it is done. At this point, we are going to just um, press down on our instant release, and you'll want to, no, don't. You're going to be right in the steam of the. So as you can see, but it's very simple. If it was spitting, you would just turn it and let it stop. But with this, we'll just go ahead and let it finish. There it starts to spit. And with pasta, um, it definitely um, puts out quite a bit of moisture. In my kitchen at my house, the only plug-in to use in the kitchen is directly under my spice cabinet, which is not my favorite thing, so I always make sure to like turn and point it so it's not putting that moisture up into my spice cabinet. Um, the joys of 1953 kitchens and you have one outlet to utilize kind of dictates some of that. So then once it is finished doing that, um, we're going to have pressure or quick released all of the moisture and our little valve is gonna drop back down And once it does that, we can open it up. And as you can see, there's lots of um, those pasta bubbles. And it is hot, obviously, because it just was very pressurized and cooked. So at this point, we're going to just drain the liquid. And we'll switch back around so I am... So we'll kind of show you, we'll, we've drained our noodles just like we would um, if we had cooked them on the stove. We're going to add them back into our pot. We'll add in our butter, milk, and cheese powder just like we would if we were cooking it on the stove. It is, the keep warm is on, so it is still um, creating some heat, which is nice when we're trying to melt the butter. Our pasta is good and hot, but we do want, you know, just like we're cooking it on the stove, stir that in. I always like to melt my butter good and um, before I do anything else, while well, it's still nice and warm. good cheese powder and this is white cheddar so it's not gonna be um, bright orange like mac and cheese in a box We're just going to stir until everything's ready to go and you have mac and cheese. And there's lots of varieties of cheese powder. Um, I ordered this one. Um, you can find it on Amazon. I'm sure Walmart, Safeway, the bigger grocery stores carry it. Um, Lusk America does not carry such things. So as you can see, tasty, ready to eat mac and cheese 
and we're 10 minutes start to finish. So um, I would have this ready to go and then I would just leave it on keep warm until I had everything else ready to eat for supper and pull it out and serve it. So with that, we will switch over and we'll show you another quick and easy way to use your Instapot.